we have a genuine problem in the ummah today and that is a lot of people are losing faith in the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and today I want to talk about the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from a very different perspective and most people when they discuss this topic they discuss it from the perspective of philosophy, science, rationality uh, I want to say that the, the best solution to this problem is not philosophical, it's not rational arguments, it's not science, because I believe this is actually a spiritual problem. And so the solution itself needs to be a spiritual solution. Now why do I say this? I say this because I have found that in the majority of cases where someone loses faith in the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all of these cases had the same thing in common. And that is a lack of what we call in Arabic, in, in spirituality, and tazkiyah, ta'alluq ma'Allah. A lack of attachment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This means that these individuals, uh, you know, they may be praying, they may be reciting Quran, they may be giving charity, but the quality or the intention is not there. It's not done in a way that draws them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not done in a way that attaches their heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so because it's not done properly, they do not experience the iman rush that comes with it. They do not experience the increase in faith that comes with it. And slowly over time, their iman is decreasing. And so this is why I say this is a spiritual problem. The other reason why I see that this is a spiritual problem is that anybody who has at any point in their life reached a high in Iman and experienced something amazing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then that person will not ever, this is my personal view, such a person would not ever, if they're able to maintain this, uh, experience doubt in the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What do I mean by this? I mean someone who had a du'a answer. I'm not just talking about any du'a. You were making du'a for something that people said was impossible. But you made du'a and Allah answered your du'a. Someone who experienced that is never going to deny the existence of Allah or even doubt it. If you experienced a karamat, a miracle, you are not going to even doubt in the slightest the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you experienced a true dream, you will never doubt the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And especially if you experience the sweetness of faith, that closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that experience through true worship of Allah, that people find in their hearts when they are making dua, when they are making dhikr, when they are praying the tahajjud salah, when you experience that, you cannot doubt the existence of Allah. It's just not possible. And so this is why I say this is a spiritual problem. Because if we had to take care of our spirituality, and raise ourselves up to a level because understand it's only people who are truly on a high level of spirituality who get their du'as answered experience true dreams experience miracles and who actually feel that sweetness and happiness from worshiping allah but to reach that level we have to worship allah we have to build a relationship with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is why i say that this problem of doubting the existence of allah that exists amongst the youth it is not a philosophical or scientific problem, it is a spiritual problem. And spiritual problems require spiritual solutions. And I believe that this is the perspective from which we need to start addressing this topic.